Hey guys, it's MG here, coming to you from Edmonton, um, Canada today. A bit chilly on my end, hopefully it's warmer where you guys are today. Um, I'm going to be showing you how to choose a stencil font for the new design that Christina recently released. <clears throat> so as you can see, I've already uploaded the design into Design Space. And what I'm going to do now is create um, the font or the word that I want to put in this um, bar right here and it needs to be stenciled because if it's not I'll lose my my middle pieces so I'm gonna write out the text that I want and just for my own purposes I'm gonna use the word um, brother <clears throat> and you can see I've got it here but it's not a stenciled font so there's a couple of different ways that you can find a font um, stenciled so you can go into your fonts option in design space and you can type in the word stencil at the top, press enter, and it will bring up all of the fonts with the word stencil in the name that are installed both on your computer and that Cricut Design Space has as an option. So you can scroll down, there's a few options. Unfortunately, under the filters option over here, there is no selection for just stenciled, which is a little bit annoying, but it is what it is. So the only way right now that I know of is how to just type in the word stencil here and look it up. If you don't find one that you would like, there are other ways to find one. Something to keep in mind when you are searching for stenciled fonts is you want to select one that is not too thin, so this probably wouldn't be a great choice, and not too intricate. The more intricate it is, the more thin it is, the more difficulty you will have cutting it out on your machine. So something that's a little on the thicker side, so this thickness is kind of nice, um, would probably be a better choice. Something that's a little bit swirly like this, you might have a tiny bit of problems with. So just keep that in mind. <clears throat> I'm gonna select this Renaissance stencil, just for fun for now, and then if I wanted something else, I could go into my web browser. So I use Chrome and I've already pulled it up and I can look at a couple of different font websites. The first one we'll look at is 1001fonts.com. And here at the top, make this a little bigger, you'll see a button called font categories. And under the modern heading is one that says stenciled. So if you click on that, it will pull up all of their stenciled fonts and you can just go through them, do what you want to do, see if you can find one that you really like and would like to um, use for sure. For my purposes and just to demonstrate, I'm going to download this Stardos stencil and down here it should show you that it's downloading if you have Chrome. Um, if you can't find it in a bar down here, just simply go into your file explorer. It should be a yellow file folder looking thing at the bottom of your screen. Just click on that. And under your downloads here on the left, you should see it installed right here. And then you can double click on it from there. For me, I'm just going to click here. And I can see that it brought up my fonts. So this says .ttf and .ttf. So I'm going to install the regular and the bold and to install it you just simply double click on it. Brings up the example of what it looks like and you can just click on install. Your computer at that point is installing it automatically and you can simply close the window once it disappears. I'm going to do the same thing for the bold. So back in here, if your font that you've selected has .otf, that's fine. Install that one. .otf means open typeface font. .ttf is true typeface font. And the difference is that if it's a .ttf file, it has to do all the differences separately. So you'll see one listed for maybe regular, bold, italic, etc. A .otf file will have everything included within that one file. It's a newer way of making fonts. So I would suggest installing the .otf if your font has that option. 
since I've got them both installed, I'm simply going to close this window. If you don't find one that you like on this website, another website you can go to is dafont.com. And under the fancy heading, you'll see Stencil Army. Again, when you click on that, it will bring up all of the stencil fonts available on its website. And you're just going to do the same thing. You'll click on the download button, open it at the bar that will show up at the bottom, and install it. And once you've done that, you can go back into Design Space. Now with Design Space, when you install a new font and Design Space is open, it will not detect the new font. You actually have to close and reopen Design Space. So make sure that your project is saved before you do that. So I'm going to call mine Beloved Awareness Ribbon. I'm going to save it. I can close Design Space and then I can reopen Design Space. And when you reopen Design Space, it will then detect the new font that you just downloaded. So mine, as I just double checked, was Stardust font. So I'm going to click on my projects. I'll reopen it. Click on the word and I can look up the new font that I just installed. And it's right here. And from here, I can do what I would like with it. So for me, I'll just size it to kind of what I want. I'll press shift and I'll hold it down. I will then select the top gray layer only. I'll go to, oh, it won't let me align. So I'm going to have to ungroup this first select my word brother, press shift and hold it, select the top gray layer, and then slice will become available along with a line. And a line, I want to make sure it's centered horizontally. And it is now, and I'm happy with the amount of space above and below. It looks pretty even. And then I can just select slice, click it. It will come up with the options, I will delete the word brother. It will make two copies of it, delete them both. And voila, your design is now done. And you can fiddle with the layer colors all you want. I hope this video was helpful. And if you have any questions, please just let me know. Thank you for watching.